already know what time it is. Finally got my little phone up on the stand. I said, fuck it, I'ma just use it like that. Let's see. But yeah, man, I'm gonna rap about. Rap about. This probably be my last little uh, live too about Africa, you know what I'm saying? Rap about a few other things, but you know, rap about how I was living village life and then living city life in Burkina Faso in West Africa. You know what I'm saying? Rap about how like um the tribal life was, you know what I'm saying? So you already know how I get it started. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get the instant going. Gotta get the instant going first. Yes, Much peace and love to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get the instant going first. You know how it go. Yeah, man. But you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? I had, I had seen and learned a lot about, you know, uh, like the tribal uh, communications. Like, they, were, they did good working together. But you know what I'm saying? They was doing their own thing, you know. So I kind of, I seen that, you know what I'm saying? They had their own quarters. Even like in the Catholic. Much peace and love, much peace and love. Just say, peace Much peace and love, and much, much respect to you and yours too, Ron. You know what I'm saying? But what I tripped off of, even like in the capital, right? It'd be like, uh, the tribes are separated, living in their own quarters, you know what I'm saying? They weren't really living uh, that close uh, among each other. But you know what I'm saying? When, when they was and they in their quarters, you know what I'm saying? They all still like to themselves doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? It was cool to see how the tribes work. You know, uh, village life was real crazy. It's like a. Uh, it was, I, I was I would say it's a lot better lifestyle. So when you get like to the capital, you will see uh multiple tribes. They still stuck close together, but you will see like uh it was like everybody just looked at it like an opportunity where they can, you know what I'm saying, come up on some bread, you know what I mean? And doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? They doing their thing in different shops. Uh, different restaurants, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, overall, though, they stuck together themselves, you know. But you would have, uh, like, brothers and sisters from other countries, that have, like, other African countries that would be in the capital, too. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I forgot, I forgot where that one bro was, was from. Uh, it went too far. You know what I'm saying? I forgot. Man, I forgot where that bro was from. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it'd be different tribes around, getting their bread, doing their thing in the capital. But then when you get to the village, it's like, it's a better lifestyle. Depending on what you like. For me, it's just going into a village. You know what I'm saying? I'm from, I'm from, I'm from somewhere else and I'm going into the village. You know what I'm saying? Real life TV, much peace, a little AR. <laughs> he thought he thought my other page was fake, but I separate my pages. I got I got a uh, three pages, you know. Gaming pages, really for my babies. I like to play the game sometimes, but uh, I let my babies have a gaming page for real. And then this only page I be doing lives and talking on and stuff like that. But you know, my music page strictly for my music. So that's why I got three pages. It might seem kind of crazy. But yeah. But shout out, shout out, bro. Much peace and love. That I was bugging on that. That, that, that shit was hella funny, bro. I went, I went, uh, I went tripping off that either because it's a lot of funny shit going on. So you better watch out for ages and things like that. You know what I mean? 
But you know what I'm saying? Back back to how it was in the village, man. In the village, like, it felt good. It was more like, it was like all family, and it really is. The whole, like, when you go into the villages, everybody is from the family. You know what I'm saying? In the villages. So, everybody is close. It's like, everything that's needed, food, clothing, uh, other raw materials, shit you can bring in, some game or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Eat all that together as a unit. School and two. You know, everybody in the whole school, same, same people. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it is in the villages. And, and the villages is nice, bro. Like, all the villages had their own thing going on. And it was nice to see so many of them, you know what I'm saying? But I'm also, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I went out there um, with the, uh, I had did the DNA test, so I went back to uh, Bits of Burkina Faso. So I went into a lot of Bits of Villages. And so seeing the lifestyle, you know what I mean, in the villages, it just taught me a lot, you know, seeing how everything going. It's like, no, no, nah, nah, I ain't up. I, I ain't in bikini. <laughs> it's a bikini, bikina. Ah, oh, it's all love. Yeah, it's all love. You know what I'm saying? But have this coming. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're serious or not, whatever. You know what I mean? But if you, you know what I mean? Whatever. You spelled everything else good. But you know, I ain't got nothing against. Uh, I ain't got nothing against. Uh, you know, between the fossil and nothing like that. You know, just so everybody know, I'm not African or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But me, personally, I'm not African. You know what I'm saying? I'm American, you know? Which, uh, I talked to them about that, too. We had talks about that, and uh, they kept it real with me. In the village the most, you know, they showed me love. They showed me love, and they told me the truth, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They let me know now, nah, you know, you American. We had plenty of talks. You know what I mean? If we went for the DNA test thing, I wouldn't even been there. But, you know, through searching my family records, those things, I could, and talking to my family, too, those things I could stand on where I know for a fact of who I am now. You know what I mean? And the, the religious aspect of shit. And, you know, just, I guess I say like indoctrination as far as uh, the wars that been going on on my own land. You know what I'm saying? Much peace and love, everybody pulling in. No, yeah, I'm reading the comments. I had said something to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm not in Bikini Faso. I'm back on the land. I'm back, I'm back on my land. You know what I mean? But uh, I got land in Africa, though, so that's cool. You know, and I, I love to be in a, a space where I pop up. Because I, I, I got partners in Africa, Steve. Just because I'm not an African don't mean... Because I'm telling you I'm not an African don't mean I hate Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm hating on them. I had a good time in the village. They showed me plenty of love. But they also let me know that I'm American. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, you American. You know what I'm saying? They told me that. But that's such a, my family records. And that's just me personally. And me, what's going on with me personally ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Like, how they moving? Or how they thinking about things? You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. And I don't got nothing against how, how you moving, how you moving. But as far as, like, what I went through, I got to learn a lot about the tribe. The villages, you know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I'm not mad about doing the DNA because anywhere it would have said I would have popped up to say, were they curious as to how things were in America? They looked at America like heaven, you know what I'm saying? They asked me that a few times. Like, what made you come out here? You left America? You left America. You left. One of them said it to me. Uh, he was in America. I had got a phone call. Uh, one of the brothers when I was kicking the wheel and we was sipping wine and listening to some music and just talking and vibing. Uh, a bro had hit him up from the village, but he was in America. And uh, 
he was on the phone. He was fresh too, you know what I'm saying? He was fresh too. He was like, you left heaven to go to Burkina Faso, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But I had I had a lot of growing to do. I had to go see for myself. And I had a good time and I had a good adventure. And I still got land out there. So, you know, it was good to take her business and travel and learn and talk to people. You know what I'm saying? They have done But my mind was on something different. It's to say it's the same thing where the land situation and all of that, it worked out different with me. Like how other people uh, got problems with it, worked out different with me. And then I had other stuff on my mind too. I had questions to ask. And then I wanted to know since this DNA test say that my people from here, I want y'all to, I need to, I need to break it down. And once I get there, it should be something that can, nah, none of that happened to where, only thing that happened was they let me know, nah, they, you're not. <laughs> and they weren't rolling with a, they don't move like that where you can come out there with a DNA test. And um, and now you, you know what I'm saying? But that'd be cool. They'd show love. And and as long as you come in respectful, you know what I'm saying? They, they cool. And they straight. They, they, they'll, they'll fuck with you. But yeah. You deserve a piece of this land? Nah, we ain't doing that on the DNA test. We need to know who your people is, and you know what I'm saying. So they looking at me like that. Well, I'm looking at them like that. They looking at me. I'm looking at them. You know what I'm saying? Looking at me. I'm looking at them. I'm like, yeah, that's what the thing say. So I need for y'all to show me that my people come. From. They looking at me like, yeah, we need you to show us who. What's coming from out here? We need to know this. Nobody ever came from my family and my record. We a hundred percent Mississippians, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't curse. I ain't curse. You know, it did take a lot of courage to do that. And uh, I wasn't really thinking in that way. I was just you know what I'm saying? This is another thing, man. Um, I was gonna move into that. It was on some almost religious minded type thing. Uh with being on the Hebrew Israelite type movement. That you couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell me nothing, you know what I'm saying? And my mind was we went on a slave trade from Africa, go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. You know what I'm saying? You go go in the uh bondage or whatever you go be on ships you know what i'm saying but it was told in reverse though you know what i'm saying they was actually taking us from america to europe to africa you know since the brother and sister did come from africa it wasn't in the loads that everybody think you can check it out on slavevoyage.com i mean dot org i think it is if i ain't mistaken you can see the numbers and the travel search your documents talk to your family boom you done you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, it wasn't that simple back then. You know what I'm saying? I just had this on my mind because I'm reading out this book. You know what I mean? I'm tripping off things on how things been brought to us, the slavery and so, you know what I'm saying? For so, you know what I mean? But a lot of things was told backwards and not in the position. It was work just like you're doing today. Yeah, you working. You can you can go and take that in. Yeah, that's slavery. You're working for the money, but your land got the resources. You know what I'm saying? That's the slavery. You know what I'm saying? That's why we love the independency. You know, I get money here. My pops taught me a lot about that too. You know what I'm saying? My pops don't work no government jobs or nothing like that. He get his bread and he take care of business. You know what I mean? He taught me that. You know what I mean? He ain't always been like that, but he moved into that and do his thing. You know what I'm saying? But in the village, it was like that too. It was like they had the money going around in the village, but it wasn't like even even like uh in the capital, it was immigrants that was like especially like downtown or uh. In seldom spots in the in the in the capital, you would have immigrants, probably from France. You know what I'm saying? Like the YT people. You know what I'm saying? You have the white people out there. You know what I mean? And they have different spots or different restaurants, and then they have the Burkina Bay working there. You know what I'm saying? 
So they're making their bread. But overall, a lot of times they was doing their own thing. But this is this, this, this the thing. This is the hard part of, of uh, why people would think they poor, but they they living good. But you will see them on the side of the road and they trying to, uh, they might be trying to sell certain things. But the problem is the reason why they don't sell much, depending on the product they got, they don't sell much because all of them really don't need nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be really. Only time they really, they really make money, like in the village, put, put it like this. They need to get some gas. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, boom. If you selling gas, oh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You go come up. If you selling uh, if you selling some food, but you at the, at the spots where they go be jamming, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, clear spots and you selling drinks and food. Yeah, you go come up off that. You know what I'm saying? You go come up off that. Or, uh, let me see, because it's like the food part, you got to be in a hot spot, you got to be, you know what I'm saying, that's how it works, it's not the same as like how it is to us, like in America and stuff like that, it's, it's a little different on the movement, because out there, they really don't need the money. They own the land. You know, they not use electricity like we use electricity. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so then, you know what I mean? Like, it's way different. It's way different. So they really don't need the money. They really don't need your food. They got chickens and goats running around right outside their crib. You know what I mean? They chilling. They really don't need you to make their clothes or nothing like that. They... The thing is, they probably want some different things, so they find a way to get some little, little extra bread, come up on some different things, you know, the lifestyle dip. But, you know, it helped me to see things, and damn, if if I got this, if, I, if, I, if I'm living like this, I don't need these things. I, I got this, man, and shout out to them, you know what I'm saying, for the goats, chickens, and, you know, man. That was cool too, bro. That was like that was cool. That, you know, that was the first time. Well, ain't the first time I received the animals. You know what I mean? In America, the animals I received, they was pets. But out there, when the animals I received, that was some food. You know what I mean? So it was crazy to see how much come off of one goat. How much come off of the chickens? You know what I'm saying? How to properly? Cause it's like I knew how to do this, you know what I'm saying? Through learning about like deer hunting and other food, and, but to see it up close and everything like that, you know what I mean? That was another thing, like up close, how they got down and took her food and the things that was around for them to, you know what I mean? A baby go go a long way, you know what I'm saying? Like they go a long way. One baby go can feed a whole village, bro. Like. Well, depending on the size of the village, but we, I got, I got videos, bro, man. I'm telling you, I gotta check them out, man. I'm telling you, you gotta check them out, bro. Like, it was just one spot. It was across the street from this new club that had got built. This was Zabra was really turning up, bro. Zabra was really turning up. You know what I mean? But uh, this spot started booming. They was selling chickens. The spot store booming. That's how I knew they was really making money. They went from a normal little stand and, you know, a normal little setup. So they had little 10 things all around, you know what I'm saying? They built a whole little store. I'm like, all right, they came, they came up. Happened quick. There was being in a certain spot, and they was really, like, one of the only spots, like, right there on the main road that was really selling food like that. They had some fish, and they have uh, a lot of chicken up there. But you know what I'm saying? They was doing their thing, bro. Like, I think they, yeah, they had goat up there sometime too. You know what I mean? But yeah, they was doing their thing, bro. Like, they're booming. There wasn't a lot of people like selling right there in the village like that. So they was really high. Bro was young too, making so much money. You know what I mean? But you know, it was a lot of spots like right by the club. They really making quick money. But uh, it was a lot of times. You know, we would just shake up there from the club spot. There's some, it's some spots 
Like this, this, this is a nice bar, man. I had went to in the village, and it wasn't no. A lot of times it wasn't, no, it wasn't no lights around. It wasn't lights. Uh, it wasn't no lights around and stuff like that. You know, it'd be spots where it's just peace, quiet. The stars all in the sky because they skies ain't getting covered like in the murder. You see chemtrails all in the sky. It wasn't, it wasn't none of that in the sky. Clear. You know what I'm saying? And then we out there just drinking our birds and vibing, you know, rapping, talking. I had a lot of these nights where I got to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? But I had other things on my mind. So that's why I had better talks. You know, that that'd be a lot different than uh, what other people might talk about. Other people might bring out some good stories too, you know, some, some good talks there. But spiritually, I had some good talks. I had a lot of surprises as far as them being surprised I'm even out there. I'm surprised too. You know, thinking about it, I ain't even know nothing about Burkina Faso. And uh, I couldn't even tell you, yeah, that, that, I want to go to Burkina Faso and I want to go to Zavre. I ain't know nothing about none of that. So for me to go out there and experience it, no, man, that was cool. It was, it was good spiritually, you know what I'm saying? And I got one up with it, you know what I mean? It helped me learn a lot. And then, as much as I learned, it helped me think about back home, you know what I'm saying? You know, buying land out there, seeing how family is, because in the village, there's family. All that is family. So, you know your family, right? I'm talking about people that's like the you know, in America, so-called African Americans or whatever. You you know your family, so just think of all your family in one area of your city. You know what I'm saying? That's that'll be your village. That's how it was. You know what I'm saying? So getting to see how that is, and some names might change, but they let me know. Like how a bosom, bosom is a bit of name, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I rap about that, you know what I'm saying? I rap about that, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna say when, I ain't gonna say why, but I say the spiritual awakening I had the most by my, uh, my grandmother, you know, she had passed in 2020. She passed in 2020, you know what I'm saying? That's her soul. You know what I mean? My grandma, lovely death. You know what I'm saying? She had passed in 2020. But uh, when I was in Africa, I had a good talk with her. You know what I'm saying? I had a good talk with her after she passed. You know what I mean? And she told me what to do. And I did it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I did it, so. Yeah, the, the DNA test, yeah. I thought I still had the paper. But yeah, um, I had did uh, African Ancestry. And um, and that's what it said, that I was a, I was, it linked me back to Burkina Faso, Bissa people. So yeah, I had did that. But for spiritual reasons, it was a good adventure, and it was good for me to do. You know what I'm saying? I needed that. No matter what I went through, what I went through as far as like the last live I did, do I hate Burkina Faso now? now? I might do a live on that next, but this might be like, because uh, I put out enough information. This might be enough, enough lives about, you know, so, uh, I might come, I might pop up and put uh, some videos up here and there, but uh, I don't got to be talking about Africa all the time, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably be the last one, but I just want to say the differences, like, like in the title it say between Bissa and Mossy and other tribes, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like it wasn't no wars or nothing like that. They just took care of their territories and they they stayed in their own space. But you should have other tribes. Like uh, you have um other tribes from different countries in Africa that they'll come 
to your country if it's a spot that's a little higher. You see what I'm saying? They come to, you know what I'm saying, like Ivory Coast and, uh, you know, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, you know, Burkina Faso. And that is just it's an energy, too. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure Gambia got a lot of that. Once upon a time, I don't know, I don't know about now, but if you got some algorithms booming, then it puts a light on you. So yeah, you start having things going on, money moving out there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they be moving around and they be doing their thing. I think that bro was from Ivy Coast, who I was talking about earlier. I think that one bro was from Ivy Coast, if I'm mistaken, but. Yeah, man, they doing their thing, and they coming up. They really coming up. They coming up with with, with the music. You know what I'm saying? I know some uh, brothers and sisters from South Africa too. You know what I'm saying? I know them that that's in America. You know what I mean? And they always kept it real. They always told every African that I ever seen in America always told me the truth. They ain't never sat up here and was telling me that I needed to go to Africa or I'm an African. They ain't never did that. You know what I'm saying? Every time it was this one I was, you know what I'm saying? Thinking, and in my mind, not even realizing I'm thinking I need to go to Africa, but you overheard. This is all <laughs> you were you were in my land. I'm talking I'm through the wolves. Indoctrination. Shout out to Martin Luther King holding it down, man. For the Indian Civil Rights Bill. Yeah. And don't nobody know about Jesse Jackson in 1988 getting our names changed. We went through a lot of name changes. We've been going through wars on our own land. You know what I'm saying? On our own land. But, you know, it is what it is. But I ain't got no problem with Africa. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love the brothers and sisters in Africa. I'm happy they're doing anything. I'm cool with a lot of Africa. I, did, I got African partners before I went to Africa. You know what I'm saying? I talked to them from different uh from different countries of Africa. They checked on me. You know what I'm saying? We'll be rapping back and forth, see how things are going, that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And then when I went out to King Faso, I got a couple more partners. You know what I'm saying? I got some. I got a couple partners from Africa, from uh, Burkina Faso that I still talk to. I still rap with them, and they know what I'm talking about. They probably watching. You know what I'm saying? But everything cool. They know what I be on. They know what I be talking about, and it ain't gonna never change as far as or not. Since I'm American, that mean I hate Africa. You know what I'm saying? I'm always be saying all types of shit, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no hate for them. I love them. I can't wait to be back out there. I want to dive into a couple of other countries, pop up in a couple of other spots. But uh, it taught me to appreciate the village. So when I go to the brothers and sisters in Jamaica and pop up on them, I want to go into the villages. You know what I'm saying? I want to be on the outskirts. Getting a jerk now. I'm trying to pull up in the village, but the good thing is I know brothers and sisters from Jamaica too. I know some brothers and sisters from Jamaica. Um, I know some brothers and sisters. I know a lot of brothers and sisters from um Africa. The biggest thing for me is like um when I think about Asia, Russia, Europe, and stuff like that. It's like Nah, I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? Canada too, when I think about Canada, I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't feeling that, you know. I got a couple more cities that I ain't been to in America, I gotta pop up to, you know what I'm saying? My family go back to Mississippi. Both sides are Mississippians, and uh, I ain't even been in Mississippi, because, you know, my great grandfather, my great grandparents had moved up to St. Louis, you know, back in the beginning of the 1900s. So, you know, it's like, uh, shit, my family been up here. It's St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? That's where my family come from. So, St. Louis, you know what I mean? But, you know, we always been on the Mississippi line. The Mississippi, uh, the Mississippi River line, the Mississippi River Bank. We always lived in the area, so Illinois, Missouri, 
Mississippi, we in them places, heavy. Got a lot of land. That's why I'm like, uh, I think somebody was asking me about about buying land now, and I don't got a lot of land. My family got a lot of land. I got all the land deeds too. I got all the land property. I got all my family paperwork. I got all the information. I talk to my family. All my family. I'm not sounding crazy. My family. All my family know what I'm talking about right now. And they'd be like, yeah, they've been telling me since I was a little boy. So-called African American majority of us have heard that. Heard our grandmas and whoever telling you, yeah, you Indian. Yeah, we Indian. I've been hearing that, but you know, as we get older and you learn different things and indoctrination and you know, uh, religion and all this, you know, it fuck with you. And I ain't talked to my family about nothing I was fit to do. I just did it, you heard me? I just did it, man. You know? Got my experience, though, but it helped me out a lot. You know, but shout out to my grandma. Both of my grandmas told me the truth. On both sides. You know what I'm saying? Uncles, aunties, they all told me this. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It just be like, you know, it be like, you know, a learning process, you know. But, uh, you know, I had a good time out there. I had a good time, man. I really needed that time away anyway, man. For real, like, it got my mind. It helped me get my mind right, you know. It helped me get my mind right, you know, pulling up out there. I'm talking about what I say about Burkina Faso, boy. When I say they as drink, like, if you think Mexicans drink, bruh, when I see how them niggas drink, bruh, they drink out there at Burkina Faso, and boy, they drink. They eat good, too. Like, they wake up, they wake up, start drinking and eating and chilling, pass out, <laughs> wake back up, do it all again. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, they really doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? I know bros that had their own little bars and... They just chilling the whole time, partying, get up on chicks or whatever like that. But at they spot, but they selling beers and shit. They coming up, music playing, jamming. You know, having a good time like that. Like, that's how it's supposed to feel. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to feel. And so they was doing their thing. And it felt good just to see how things could be. I wore one, like, uh... Like, they dealing with their problems, but our wars ain't the same, bro. Our wars is not the same, bro. Now, it's real. America is the main base. America is the headquarters for the war. Like, they ain't never let up. You know what I'm saying? We have been dealing with problems that come with the war. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not giving no... Uh, I never give white people no flowers like that to where they just been whooping our ass, we've been pussy. Nah. The problem is we've been going through a lot of this war from people who look just like us. You know what I'm saying? And they involved in this. They taught them things. They showed them how to wash their ass. They showed them what we was. You see what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody might not know about this. But learn about when these folks came. They come from afar. They came out them caves. Yeah. They got shown how to how to wash, how to wipe their ass, how to wash their ass. You know what I'm saying? Stand up right. Shave some clean yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Take care of business. Do this. This is what this is. This how you do it. You know what I'm saying? But then they start they start messing with them folks sexually. And then America is the real old world. I learned from Africa how we used to bring shit there too. Corn was the heaviest thing. They talk, they talked to me about corn a lot. They wanted me to bring some corn. I was out there, right? I was out there. This was in the village. And uh I wanted to, I wanted to just show some love, but I didn't really know which way to go with it. And I was just trying to, you know, show some love or whatever. And I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was asking one brother, you know, you know, give me the information, you know, I can I could definitely help out on some or whatever. Then this nigga asked me about corn. I was like, 
corn. How the hell I'm gonna get some corn? You know what I'm saying? It confused me a little bit. They was high on the corn. They really wanted the corn. But if you look at the information, corn originates in America. You know what I'm saying? They call it maize out there. They call it maize. They the maize come from America. They get the corn from us. You know what I'm saying? They really want that corn. You know what I mean? But in certain spots, I seen them growing corn too. In certain spots, it's a little bit of. Uh, it's better if you could just get it there. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't grow the same. It's, it'd be a little tight in spots. You know what I mean? But the peanuts was growing good out there. The peanuts grew good. And the peppers, the peppers grew good. You know what I'm saying? Like the habaneros, they had a lot of habaneros. You know what I'm saying? They have, they have like all the variety like you will catch in America. But they had the night, you know, they had a onion, peanuts, you know, habanero, you know, different other other different peppers. Uh, I remember like going into the markets, the street market, the village market. I remember I got into it with a bro one time too. You know what I'm saying? In the village. But he was holding he was holding his nuts. You know what I'm saying? It was basically it was basically like shit, I'll be mobbing. And then I was uh out there at the street market. I was by myself too. I was by myself at the street market. Everybody else was there. Everybody was showing me love, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I think I was getting a bunch of habaneros and uh some more, some more vegetables. That's pretty much all it was out there to really get it wasn't like no fruits. So if you go be on the street market and you go in out there, it's not like you get fruits and vegetables. You go come across a, a bunch of vegetables. You know what I'm saying? It's all vegetables. You know what I'm saying? But if you pull up at certain spots or certain vendors, they have certain vegetables that you can you, I mean, certain, uh, certain fruits that you can get. You know what I'm saying? But on the street market, it wasn't high on like fruits and vegetables because you can get a lot of vegetables. So I pull up there. And uh, I forgot what this nigga has, he, he has started saying. I think he might have tried to coming up acting cool, but it was almost like he was kind of drunk or uh, intoxicated or something, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? He was talking shit or whatever, but he was trying to be in my face for why he trying to, like, that's the, that's the switch, you know what I'm saying? It's one thing if you, you know, you go talk, but if you trying to talk, but you talk to Emmy, you know what I'm saying? I got to make eye contact, like, what up? You know what I'm saying? So it was like that, but then they basically, like, came and, like, basically got his ass on somewhere. And I know they was probably tripping off over, like, this nigga is by himself, bro. And he holds, he up, he, like, want to know what up with it, you know? And I was on it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go through too many of them situations, you know? I went through, I went through a couple of, I, went, I, I, I had a bunch of arguments with them. In the village and in the capital. With certain, certain, uh, like, brothers. I ain't had no arguments with the sisters or whatever like that, you know. But I, I had like a talk with one sister, like when I was in the village, and she was just basically letting me know, like, what made you come out here? You know what I'm saying? I just took the DNA test, you know, popped up to see what was like. You are not Burkina Bay, you are American. I'm like shit. I just took the DNA test, you know. I'm just out here seeing, seeing, seeing what is what is hitting for. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it was all love though. I wasn't really tripping off of it or nothing. Like, I'm just here to look up certain things and uh, grow, ask questions, you know, live and learn. You know, I did just that, huh? But yeah, the tribal situation, just seeing how they work amongst each other, like, but they separate. But they call, they join on each other too. Like we call it joining, but they'll talk some shit about you. Like, you know what I'm saying? They find out you from another tribe, then start talking shit about you. You know what I'm saying? I done seen that like a lot. You know, I done seen like some hating stuff they be doing. Like that, that shit be happening. But they cool though. It ain't like no pull up, bye bye. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't none of that. It's just like some talking shit. So. 
But they a little standoffish from the next motherfucker if you ain't, you ain't from my tribe. You know what I'm saying? But it's still all up. They doing their thing and they doing business in the same quarters. They just doing they thing with they sell. So that was a good thing to see. And then the way it is in the village life compared to the city life, I like the village life better because the thing that really made me upset about the city life is when I went downtown in the water duty. Man. When I went downtown, when I went downtown in the Wagadoo, I saw a lot of immigrants, bro. But the, this the thing, too. Downtown the Wagadoo look like downtown St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? The big tall buildings, and you know what I'm saying? How the streets set up, and all. I'm looking like they doing this in two rooms. I'm like, okay. And then I'm going to different shops, and guess who owning the shop? Guess, guess who? Guess who own them? White folks. Guess who work there? Brick in the Bay work there. Yeah, just like it is with America. White folks and your dad, they run the certain shit. And guess who work there? You do. No, so it ain't no difference, man. Ain't no difference, man. It's just like once you get to certain outskirts out there, they still living in their building. We ain't even got that much power. Like, they done went to a level of flip and through, through a stroke of the pen. We lost on all levels. So it's like the war of realness. But I, I had a good time just learning the same things, you know what I'm saying? I really needed it. I needed the time away from how I, I had it. to see things. Shit changed. When I was a young boy, I didn't see a bunch of white people and Mexicans and Asians and shit like that. I didn't start seeing it until I got older. That's when I started seeing a bunch of Mexicans, Asians, you know what I'm saying, white people and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Then I started learning about immigration, you know, when a lot of Siberians, Mongolians came into America. That's why a lot of them in Cali, you know what I'm saying, uh, Texas, down in Mexico, shit like that. That's why I started learning about all of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm tripping off of and I'm looking at it like when I was a little boy, man, let me just, you know, you might see a white cop or something like that, but everybody looked like my family. Everybody was yeah, in St. Louis. Everybody, it was all Negroes. You know what I'm saying? Heavy. We are the majority all over America. You know, we, know. we be thinking we are number, we are number everybody else. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of immigrants, all type of different people in America, bro. All type of shit. You know what I'm saying? We still on the walls of Mexico. With these, bro, we, we, we always did it. We always did this. We always was rocking goals. We always did it. Ain't nothing new. All this is still up on the walls of Mexico. You can search it. You can search it for yourself, man. The walls of Mexico. Type it in. You can you can put the yeah the Mayans the Mayans of the on the walls of Mexico and see who. Tell me who they look like. Tell me who it look like on the walls and what they rocking. Ain't nobody rocking the same shit. You know how we do. We don't want to wear if, if from if from the hood. We want to have our own swag. So the way I move and the way I'm rocking shit, I don't want nobody trying to look like it. So we don't, we don't rock the same. All of them on the walls rocking different shit with their locks, the way our women wrap their hair, all that. Still learn. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't even trip off of that for real. No, all the images from... 1800s, the books, a lot of books. I had started reading a lot more books too. You know what I'm saying? I had started researching a lot of history. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but that civil rights was a kill switch because it's like I've been hearing about the civil rights for so long. 
Yes, and research Walter Plessis. Yeah, research Walter Plessis and see what he did to the American Indians. See what it was about. See what Walter Plessis was about. I know a lot of people probably don't want to hear about that, but I don't care. That's why I say the shit should have happened, but that don't mean I got no hate for Africa. I love Africa, had a good time. Shout out to the brother and sister Africa, and we still rap. Salute to them, but I'm not asking. But research Walter Plessis. Research with Je Jesse Jackson is a Cherokee Indian, also. It's, it be your own people, bro. The snake shit is real, man. The snake shit is real. Like, like, you can look at the energy that come behind this too, man. Like what I did for Zabra, I understood that. Because when I got there, it was one way. But they celebrated like Michael Jackson came into the village. But then after a few months, they turned up. They started building new clubs. They started getting new street lights and solar panels on them. You know what I'm saying? All the stores started rebuilding because I was there. You know what I'm saying? In the capital, a lot of things start changing too because the JT was there and a lot of Americans was coming in. A lot of money was moving in. A lot of uh a lot of visuals was coming out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of information was coming. And this is in other places too, man. Shit changed in the Gambia when the bad family stuff still having stuff anywhere. It's anything about an African American, however you want to put it, American, African, whatever. Our people is in the spot, and Africa things start rising up because the algorithm play. You know what I'm saying? The algorithm start going up. You know what I mean? Somebody doing something in your hand. You know they out there trying to fight and battle for people to to uh, to to see them. But the thing is. The only thing is, we just don't get um, videos popping up from brothers and sisters over there like that. But when the brother and sister go over there, your videos are going to be booming because you from the land already. But you out there now. So them algorithms will go through. They algorithms ain't, ain't reaching through like this. Like how we make a move and we doing things. And, you see what I'm saying? So it's like a help for a help type thing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like, it ain't no bad talking to You know what I'm saying? It helps out a lot. You know, but as far as the village goes, I think a lot, like, in my situation, I think a lot of the bread that came from me helped them. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's what was helping them, you know? Just me getting the bread, getting some wine here and there, me need some gas, me, me uh, getting food. I'm going to different spots, doing this, you know what I'm saying? So, they help it. They show love too, like anytime I need to go to the ATM, right? I told y'all before, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people just, you know, they just don't know. Or get down, what else, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, they show me love. There was a couple brothers and sisters. I was a couple brothers, you know what I'm saying? They had let me take the whip. But I have another bro with me. Because he can, he can drive the whip, but they, they, they show me love. And it's like, hey, you can take the whip going here, you know what I'm saying? So you can go to the ATM, like a few villages over, and they got an ATM, you know what I'm saying? I saw I like in that little village. I'm like, I can pull up here. I'm like, I took the bus there, too. I took their bus before by myself. I took their bus. Their bus is like vans, it ain't like our bus. They're just in Burkina Faso, some African countries do got real buses. But in uh, Zabra, they ain't have, matter of fact, I ain't seen no bus in, uh, in Burkina Faso at all. The only buses they have is like vans, and then they got cabs. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I took a bus. I took they bus to and fro to go and get the bread. Nah, man. Hell, this down. What else I'm going to do? I ain't got no bread, so I got to eat no thugger. Nah, man. Well, I done took the bus out there to get to the next, to get, uh, like, four villages over. 
to get to the ATM. I done, I done uh, took the motorcycle out there. I done took whips out there. I done got stopped by the police on the, on the, on the way. Like... <laughs> And pay it off the police. Like, I say probably like three or four times. But they, they didn't bust my head though. You know, when I paid them off, it was like five dollars American money. You know what I'm saying? It was real low. It wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing crazy. You know what I mean? But it was all love, though, man. I had a good time. I had a good adventure, man. And, you know, I got to experience a lot of things, you know, that helped me grow. And uh, they showed me a lot of love, man. It just sometimes I had to let them know. I remember one time this one, bro, he go try to... He was trying to take a picture uh, uh, of my family and stuff like that. I'm like, nah, nigga, you take pictures of me. You ain't take no pictures of my family, you know what I'm saying? And we went out there. They was trying to take a bunch of pictures. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm, the, uh, I'm the one that's like on that. Like, I don't want nobody around my family like that. I don't, I don't play it like that. You, you can take a picture with me if you want to take a picture of someone. All around my kids and all that. I'm not, that shit ain't happening at all, boy. Nah, that ain't going down. I had to let you know about that. I'm not playing about my family. Like, nah, if you want to know something, talk about something coming through me with it. Nothing in my family, not, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that ain't, that ain't going down, you know what I'm saying? They was on some, uh, they was just, uh, you know, you know how motherfuckers play, man. Somebody, like, pictures go, pictures worth a thousand words. That's what motherfuckers say, right? So, you know, it was like, uh, I want play, I just want play, either way it go, I want play none of that, you know, uh, it was like, they windows, it's, it's like you open up the window, right, but it's like basically wide open, so, you know, you have shit flying in, sometimes, you know, the weather was cool, though, in the comparison, uh, this is what I say. This, even though I ain't even want to talk about this part, but how is the weather compared to American weather? I'm telling you right now, bro. They said Burkina Faso, this is what I had learned if they was talking about. They said Burkina Faso is the hottest country in Africa. That's what I learned. I was surprised when I heard of this. I was surprised because it was a moment, I think, like November had hit. I think it had until November. But it started getting cold out there at nighttime. And I'm like, damn, what the hell is going on? It's really cold. Like, it had dropped down like 20, 30 degrees at nighttime in, uh, like, November, December. And I was confused as hell. I didn't expect that. But in the daytime, it's right back cold. I mean, right back hot. It's right back hot once the daytime hit. The sun come back out. They ain't got no nothing blocking the skies. So, you know what I'm saying? I was confused by that. But... As far as like they so called summertime or, or they heat, I just say that because there ain't no summertime. Cause in the daytime, it's always hot. But in their hottest points of Perth, our hottest point, I'm telling you right now, man. These West these uh weather uh temperature things be capping, bro. I'm telling you right now, and I think it's because of the like um. Uh, like humidity and uh we more we more like tropical i put it like that so i say like the hottest days in st louis and their policy is they might say it hit 102 or it might be like 98 i'm telling you right now they lying bro never came to fossil they say every day it was like 116 but but it wasn't bad like it felt like a 90 the st louis 90 to me you know what i'm saying i'm telling you right now man they heat ain't nothing like some st louis like when it get like the humidity hit and you know what i'm saying like i mean the uh 
it's like a, it's like a, it's, I say it's, it's a different heat. You know, it's a different heat. But I think this got something to do also with chemicals in our skies. They put chemicals in the sky. You know what I'm saying? They trying their best to block the sun. Spraying shit. At, go outside the morning. Well, I'm just talking shit. And all y'all go outside in the morning. If you from America, then go outside tomorrow. All day. Matter of fact, you ain't got to go out in the morning any time of the day and just look at the skies. Look at the skies. Why is they spraying shit in the sky? What is that they spraying in the sky? Why are they spraying shit in the sky? Why is that happening? That ain't happening at Bikini Fossil. I ain't see that. Then you know you have more folks that should do this where you need to do nah, that's why you need to be wondering about things. This just like somebody trying to bring information and things that's going on in their hood, right? And then the next nigga tell you, this where you need to leave their hood. You need to leave your nigga, that's your hood, ain't it? Why why you gotta leave? Why you gotta be afraid and shake your hood? That's what they want you. They want you to shake the hood. No, nah, shake your hood. Don't don't leave. But then it's not a plus up for you. I went to F. I'm still paying bills. Well, what W is there for me? You know what I'm saying? What W is there for me? Besides talking to brothers and sisters, gaining knowledge, um, seeing the village life, seeing how things going. What plus is it for me to go to F. This is where I'm supposed to be from, and they tell you this. And it's so much love for you that you ain't just gonna come out your hood, bro. Who go, who go your land? We happy you back. Who go your land? And you, they looked at me. They already knew right off the rip. Like, nah, you American. They told me that a few times. Brother, a brother told me that before I went. A sister told my wife that before she went. From Africa. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so now I hate Africa. Now I hate Africa. I got a power Africa. Shout out to Africa, man. Much love to them. And how they playing ball. Because guess what happened in America? What's going to happen if somebody come to your hood? Yeah, anybody come to your hood, they in your area now. It don't matter where they from. They can say they from Africa. They can say they from anywhere, bro. Like anywhere. But they pull up in your hood. And they start doing things. The hood go. The hood ain't You know. Especially if they can't utilize off of it. The hood ain't going to be fucking. In my hood. This anywhere, bro. This anywhere. You can't be coming. You know what I'm saying? Unless they can utilize off of it. You can't be pulling up. You gotta be thinking about it on some street shit. You know what I'm saying? How you moving? You know what I mean? You can't. It's, it's, it's like a, It's not like. It's not like you could just be pulling up and everything to be sweet. No. Everybody on their toes watching everything the same way as it is in the hood. You know? They show me that. They move their way with each other, like different tribes. They move this way with each other. They move this, this way within their tribe. The tribes have warned me about their own self. It, it go like this, you know what I'm saying? I remember one bro was telling me how, like, I think it was like a, they didn't have a lock on the gate. And he was letting me know, because I had figured it out uh, when I was in the village, though. And how sometimes they didn't have locks on the gate in the, in the village for real. You know, they didn't have, you know, majority of them ain't have locks on the gate. Like on the other side of that gate, have a lock on it. In the village, they ain't really do that. So you would be able to slide this little slide door back, stick your hand through there, pull the latch over, and don't hit open the gate. But they had it, they left it like that. A lot of them kept it like that. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot of things because it's so, it was so close to home that if something happened, man, you already know like what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I remember this one bro had lied to me. He was trying to get a little bread though, right? 
Eli being gonna try to talk about how somebody broke in his shop and they had stole. Uh, I think it, I think he, I think they, he was talking about they stole. He he had like a he had like birds and stuff like that. I think he was talking about they stole some money or whatever. I just threw the nigga a little, a little money. Like, I'm supposed to be lying. Like, it's some hood shit. Like, you gotta be, you gotta think of it that way. Yeah, you just going to a farther hood, nigga. Yeah, you going to a further hood. You going to a further hood, that's the way, and they playing ball a little different. And you gotta come out there with the bread and know how to bust a move. If you gonna go to, it's not gonna be no, but the thing is America. Hey, you gotta be a little bit concerned about them sticks, you know, them sticks gonna be out, so, you know, you might, you might, you know what I'm saying, you might, you motherfucker might pull up there like that, you know what I'm saying, but I, anywhere else, I say, actually, the Caribbeans will do you, they'll do you dirty, too, Caribbeans will do you dirty, anywhere in the, the Americas, yeah, you you gotta be you, you gotta be thinking about that. But in Africa, man, nah, you know, brother might try to sneak you. You know what I'm saying? But not with none of them. It's just like shit. You know, brother might try to sneak you. You know, for some money, lying, trying to get a little extra bread. You know, that happened a couple of times, like. I ain't, I ain't like the petty shit that happened a couple times where he got me in a couple arguments. I felt like, I mean, you get petty, bro. Like, this little punk in this train, you know, bro. Like, you lose the petty. You have more respect, you know what I'm saying? I lost, a, I lost some respect for a couple brothers, a couple brothers out there. Moving petty, you know what I'm saying? I don't like petty moving. I don't like petty shit. You know, I get that from my pop. Man. I don't respect the petty shit. You know, don't be petty with it. You know, if you need some love or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Ain't you know, you know, you know, trying to get something. Don't be petty. Trying to get American type on American type money type time. Trying to get five dollars here, two dollars here. Like, bro, you been like, bro, stop playing, man. You know what I'm saying? No, man. But the blessing for me, the blessing for me in the village, but the capital, it, it, it do work this way. It do work this way too. In Africa, like uh, being in the hospitals or being at the dentist is much better, man. Because in America, they all around the board, they just don't want to help you. You know what I'm saying? So in Africa, they got a little bit of leverage because they, they run in a lot of the fields. So in America, you might need to get too cool. And it's like, ain't none of us dentists. For real. It's a couple It's a couple of us, but in that field, you know what I'm saying? But out there, all the dentists is them. All the doctors is them. You see what I'm saying? So it helped out a lot. Being able to bust my moves and for any time I need help. Where I had the worst tooth pain in my life. My wisdom tooth as a child. Ain't never heard, I ain't never had any kind of tooth pain. Well, when I was in the back, I got, I got, uh, I recorded that too. I recorded that, I took a picture out there. Man, to get that tooth out of my mouth. Man, I'm telling you, that shit hurts so bad. I ain't never had no pain like that, you know what I'm saying? Never had no pain like that, you know? That was the worst I'm talking about. I was like, I don't even, I, don't, I wasn't even like crying. It was like, it wasn't, it wasn't pain for tears. It was, pain to like you want to go to sleep but you can't even go to sleep because it hurts so bad crying ain't gonna do nothing for you <laughs> i'm saying so i'm like i'm hitting on like nigga i, I gotta use them up for the two for i ain't care what bro was doing i had this one brother do it. i had him I, I had him show me what the dentist was you know then i learned about their medicine 
you know, one of their medicines is a lot better out there because the uh, majority of their medicines is pure. And uh, it's not like I med it's straight to the point medicine. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're looking for, it help you out. You know, like asthma medicine, pain medicine, you know what I'm saying? It helps out and uh, to get that tooth out my mouth, boy. But yeah, as good as your life, my wife had to get her tooth pulled. She had to get a tooth pulled in the capital. I had to get one pulled in, uh, in, in the village. And you know, she got, she got um, asthma. But I was able to get all, able to get all the asthma medicine. No, everything was straight on that. Had that on deck. You know. Like man, it was it was it was, it was a lot to learn, you know. But they medicine store is way better. It ain't where your insurance card and all what you mean. That's the best. But it's not the best if you like the if you in the war that we in. It's not good because the the medicine stores they ain't selling no medicine out there like that. You know what I'm saying? But if they was selling it like her and like out here in America, and the nigga can get a hold of some perks, boy, boy, perks will be selling like Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Perks will be selling like Jordan. But the war is different. And a lot of niggas that will be buying it, it's been more pain that they've been shot up. You know what I'm saying? Like, dealing with all types of car crashes, all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? We dealing with a lot of shit mentally. So, a lot of motherfuckers didn't be needing that. I said, lane before, and that's what we used to do. In St. Louis, we crunch down the perks. And you know what I'm saying? Whipping with the night wheel. You know, I was doing that for about a year. And I let that shit go. I'm happy about that. You know, I let that go. And I want to say, we ain't, I ain't talking about, I sipped the codeine and shit before, but I, I mean, the purse got codeine in it, but I was sipping the liquid. At, at one time I did it, I ain't like that. We like perks out here. You know what I'm saying? But that shit, like, nah. I was like, no. I let that go, but when I let it go, I went through a withdrawal, a double withdrawal a couple of times, too, but out there, it was way different, bro, like, you know what I mean, even dealing with the accident, that's when I had to start back taking, uh, I guess you would say it's like they perks, I had to take them, you know what I'm saying, to just get through the pain, but it wasn't no pain, like, it was screaming out. I was just a little sore. So, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I got my medicine. I ain't have to go through a bunch of insurance type stuff. And, you know, all that for uh, asthma medicine for my wife for, you know, everything was just like, you pull up to the medicine store, what you need? Boom, bam, all right, this is much. How many you want? You know what I'm saying? So it was like shit was in and out, in and out of them motherfuckers, you know what I mean? But I don't like no kind of medicine. I don't like, I like earth medicine, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like you know, smoking me some herb. That's my only medicine, you know what I mean? I, w- I will say too, man, like they weed, they weed was Gucci too. It was Gucci, it reminded me of like... It reminds me of that back in the day, to back in the day, like like the Reggie. Move. Move, boy. It reminds me of like the back in the day Reggie, you know what I'm saying? But back in the day, I remember my pop smoking. Like, that was the best. Like, how I moved today, it's like, man, you can tell they mess with stuff. It's shops everywhere. You know, it's a lot of the war real, man. You know, but I wanted to make this live because like so-called African Americans, right? That started in 1988 too. That's when they start calling you African American through Jesse Jackson. So-called African Americans, and it's it's actually a pad now. African American is a pad, and I think they might have uh, took it down too. But African American is a pad, you know what I mean? Look into that. I ain't gonna tell you no more. 
you know what I'm saying, about, you know that. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, as far as going to Africa and everything, right, being among the tribes, being among the villages, it got to, it got to show me a lot, you know what I'm saying, it helped me out a lot. And to know how how they moving and everything, and to see how uh ah uh, damn hold on I don't know if somebody else had sent me a message. Ah oh, damn hold on let me get this up song. Ah oh, okay that's an old question. Yeah but in the village, like compared to. They like city lights, so or as in America, we say like counties and shit like that. Like the lifestyle different. It's, it wasn't a culture shock for me though. I could say they'll say something like that, like coming out, coming out to America in our lands, it'll be culture shock. But the going out there, it wasn't a culture shock. It was a release because y'all are free compared to me. You free. So it, it's nothing like what we got going on. But at the end of the day, that's what made me, you know, step on business and made me start tripping about my family. No documents, researching, you know, government records too. A lot of niggas don't be one. And then I had I had learned about Pan African, uh, like Pan Africanism and stuff like that. I had started learning about that too. Even though what I was going through, I ain't know nothing about no damn Pan African. I ain't know nothing about Pan African stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it was like when I had started seeing it, and then I had started learning about that one. I forgot. Uh, I forgot what the one brand name is. But bro, it's it's not a big. It's not nothing that need to be an argument. Guess what you do? Talk to your family, search your family records, and you, you can't just be saying, you can't, the thing is that you're coming with an argument is, you can't talk Africa if you don't have an African tribe. Well, your tribe, find it out, you can find it out, bro. I'm not talking no DNA test neither. Search your family records, search the slave voyages, these documents, search government records, and Africans that's in America already know all the information. They know the information already. A lot of niggas just be playing, man, getting a little extra bread. I don't give a damn about no money. I care about the truth. That's why I, I tell the truth. And I did it. So who gonna say I did? Who gonna say who who, who who got something to say? You can't say nothing because I'm not telling no goddamn lie. You already know I'm telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? And I like I like I don't care about uh I don't care about no clout. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about no clout. No uh. Man, that type of stuff don't mean nothing. I care about my ancestors. I care about my family. I care about my children. You know what I'm saying? I care about myself. You know what I mean? And that's why I like being out there. Being out there in Burkina Faso, man. They showed me love. And they helped me overall as far as like, you know, they providing things as far as the spot to kick, kick my feet up, chill, like a good ass vacation spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they gave me that opportunity to chill and relax. You know what I'm saying? I had more opportunities. But the thing was, I'm not, I'm not into no drivers and 
don't need you to come and wash my clothes. They stole some clothes too, but I ain't go, I ain't tripping off of it. They stole a couple of things. Hey, they had some silly motherfuckers, but they could have asked me nicely and not gave me some stuff. I probably gave the whole motorcycle. I probably gave him this shit. Like, you can have this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I left a lot of shit behind. I don't care about that shit. Like, I don't care about that shit. Just like I don't care about them a thousand dollars on JT. I don't care about, you know how many, you know how many more thousands I left behind in Africa? You know what I'm saying? Money don't mean nothing to me. My family means everything to me. My land means something to me. The truth means something to me. You know what I'm saying? These things was good to learn, know, and experience and everything. And I, I salute the King of Faso. You know what I mean? Shout out to them. Shout out to the brothers and sisters out there. Shout out to my my other brothers and sisters who are not even from the King of Faso, but they all from Africa. So shout out to them that I have been talking to for a while. You know, they told me a lot of things. I right. <laughs> I was talking to one of my brothers, right? He from the Congo. He from the Congo, but uh, I was talking to him, right? And I was letting him know how I got the land. As soon as I let him know how I got the land, guess what happened? He was like, Oh, you know, you know. Uh, a lot of times, you know, they, they, they give you the land, but they, they, they lie so they can play it. But, you know, so I was like, no, I, I really got it. I let them know about the paperwork. But he was trying to warn me about doing shit like that, too. You better be careful and you better get some understanding. But I took her business, but it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? But overall, you live and you learn. So... To be around different tribes, moving around, village to the city life, and all that type of stuff. You know, I got to learn and enjoy myself. And uh, I, I say, I say, I say, uh, because it's not, it's not worth the whole life to do. So I just say it now. I say the biggest negative that I had about being a kid of is it's not too much for my babies to be doing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not enough for my baby. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a kid thing set up to where Chuck, like Chuck E. Cheese and all this, none of that type of stuff. Like, it's not nothing for like kids to be really doing, you know. Like the parks or nothing like that. It's not no parks. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like you got, you do got some little parks, some little animal spots, but you gotta be doing some extra traveling or um, going out the way to a further away village to get to get to certain points. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but for the most part, I just wanted to be like, you know what? Anytime we go, go we go, go grocery shopping together. We go eat at certain spots together. And as long as I can just get my babies on the road, we just go drive around and we go go eat. We go go grocery shopping and we go get some food off the street, some fruits and vegetables. We go, y'all go go out with me one time. We go do it like that. And so that was a help to be able to get my babies out the house. Or, uh, shit, sometimes just let them go outside the gate. You know? I mean, not outside the gate, but outside and just run around inside the gate. You know what I'm saying? While I'm out there with them. But for the most part, I just chase the goat around the house or something like that. You know what I mean? But it's not nothing for kids to do. I was actually setting it up for the village, though. I was trying to get into that. Uh, I was trying to get into that and talk to them. But in the midst of that, it was like, damn, y'all ain't even trying to give me no land. Y'all ain't even trying to give me this. But I did want to uh, make something for the kids to do. I'm like, man, I'm the village. It ain't shit for the kids to do. They ain't have nothing to do, bro. Nothing to do. Luckily, we came with all that. You know what I'm saying? We came with and that's what my main experience do. You know, like chill, run around outside, you know, bought PlayStation, you know what I'm saying? They was even shocked up on the... I bought the little... Damn, I forgot what the... They had a damn, like, wall TV thing, you know what I'm saying? The projector. 
they was shouting like, man, they saw that projector because I when they brought me out to the village, they took me to the uh, La crib, and it was like I cut the TV on. You know, I played for a little bit, but then all of a sudden it was like tripping, someone working or something. So I'm like, man, let me bust out this projector. You know, we finna get it rolling. You know what I'm saying? So pulled out the projector. Now that mother was busting. You know what I'm saying? So. My kids, they've been enjoying themselves. I just made sure I, we had the food and everything like that. Everything was straight, you know what I'm saying? It was hard work, though, man. It's hard work, though, you know. But we had a good time. It was a good learning experience. You know, I give a boo to the ancestors for being with me and putting it in my mind on how to move and all the situations. I took care of this. But yeah, you know, from her own, from her own, I'm on, I'm on American business. I'm not really tripping off no uh, unless y'all pop up with something and you want to hear certain stories or get certain information on how things is. Um, that's cool, but I'm on American business. You know what I'm saying? So salute to all my brothers and sisters from Africa. You know, shout out to them. You know, shout out to all the brothers and sisters I do talk to. There's no one how everything been the whole time and they rap with me. And shout out to my brothers and sisters from America. Coach Friend Truth is going crazy. Y'all can't even escape it. Yeah, y'all can't escape it. You know what I mean? You can't escape it. What you gonna do? You can't run. You gonna TikTok, you heard about it. You already know. You know, on YouTube, you heard about it, these things is raising up where niggas really, but then you got, I don't want to call it agent. I don't want to call it like an agent because my mind was in a different place before I did other things I to do other things. Oh, I knew to do other things to research and to gain this information that I got. I traveled. I searched my family records. I talked to my family. You know, I did this thing where that stopped me from traveling. That mean I hate Africa now. I'm like, nah, man, shout out to Africa. But I'm on American business. It's American business, man. With that being said, I could have I gone ahead and rolled one up. Do me a little sipping. Listen to some more of my music. And see some brothers and sisters live right now doing their thing. But much peace and love. And this live is definitely going to be uh, American business. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm on. So, till next time. Unless y'all got some questions or something like that. If you got some questions or uh, thoughts um, about how the grocery store is or whatever, like how it was. You know how the clubs is. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff I can't talk about. You know what I mean? It's not like nothing bad. I'm just saying it's a lot of stuff I, I can talk about. It depends on what you want to know unless I really want to bring certain things out. You know, but I ain't really got nothing more to really talk about. You know what I'm saying? It's bad things too. Like, um, like, uh, what, what they call them? Like, uh, like, uh, hookers and stuff like that. Yeah, they have hookers and things like that too, and all type of things going on. You know what I mean? So it could be stuff with how was with recording the app, whatever y'all want. I, before I leave out though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it off. I had one brother be mad because he wanted a feature. I guess we gonna say. I had him get mad about that a couple times because they want a feature. They wanted me to perform. You gotta pay me the bread, bro. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Much peace of love, man. Shout out. It's your boy Tender the guy. Make sure y'all share, you know, subscribe, comment, all that. You know, if y'all got something y'all wanna ask or find out about, you know what I'm saying? Just don't hesitate to shoot in the comments. Much peace of love.